I said that I was going to communicate with you every month, and I just couldn't wait until next month to tell you what happened during the services last weekend. And we had a quite a contrast of two different people that came up to speak to me, and one was an older gentleman from an early service, and he said that he hopes that he lives long enough to be able to see us build that new church next door. And, and I said, Amen, brother. I hope I live long enough to see that church being built too. And, and we just don't know God's plan. We don't know when he's going to take us home or when he's going to build our new home. But we do have faith that God is going to take care of us and he'll be there with us. And so that was the, the first person that came to me. Then the other one came up to me and, and he was asking about the financial numbers that were on the TV screen back there. And he wanted to know about that 110000 up there. And is that how much it takes to pay off the roadway? And I was quite surprised because nobody really asked about that number except for him. And so I explained to him, no, the 220000 is how much it costs for us to build the roadway, and the 110000 is the halfway point of paying it off, and we're getting closer to that. And so it was just amazing to have a young man asking these questions, and then he said, I want to give 20 bucks to pay for that roadway to help pay it off. And, and so me and Glenn Yerby just looked at him like, okay. And, and so he opens up his wallet, and he pulls out $20, and, and he hands it to Glenn, and, and we were just amazed, and we didn't know what to do. We were, we were just looking at each other, well... Glenn gave the money back to the young man and said that, you know, go ahead and talk to your parents about that because we figured that his parents would be able to teach him the lesson of tithing, that the money given to you from the Lord, the first 10% should be given back to your church for the general budget. And, and the money that you give above and beyond that 10% is the gifts that, that is amazing, that builds roadways, that builds churches, that does mission work like we are so famous for at this church. And so on that day, we were so thankful to receive the lesson from him instead of us teaching him about tithing and about 10 percent and 20 percent he taught us about extravagant generosity he taught us that he wanted to give everything for this roadway project and, and we were just so amazed and, and so after this all happened I, I went up to Gabe and I said Gabe that was really cool that you said you want to do that and, you know give me five buddy and, and he looked at me and he said I told you I only have a 20. <laughs> So today, we just want to come together, and our building committee wants to say thank you for your extravagant generosity and for this young man, Gabriel. And so let's all give Gabe a great big hand.